Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are making this adorable little tuxedo bib for any baby. This is so adorable and so much fun to make that any baby is just going to look so cute in this. Uh, we first start out working from the bottom and working our way up into each straps and then we add a little embellishment of a bow and some button and button holes so that you can adjust the sizing as well. The bib that I made today, we are using peaches and cream uh, cotton yarn. You can use any type of cotton yarn that you choose. Uh, my specific um, cotton yarn that I'm using is a two and a half ounce ball of yarn. And these come in 120 yard balls of yarn, but we are using um, half of that. So we're using about 60 yards per color. Although with the red that I used in here, we are only using a few yards of that, like a scraps of that. So um, you can see here though, I'm using the color Ecru for the off-white color. I'm using black for this uh, black and outer edge section of our uh, bib. And then we are using, um, I don't actually have the uh, label for the red, but I'm just using a red color for the bow. But you can use any colors that you want. Like I said, these are peaches and cream cotton yarn, 100% cotton, but you can use any kind of yarn that you want. We are also using a small tiny button. You can use any size button that you want. Okay, so I'm using a small plastic button there and uh, the supplies, um, extra supplies we need, we are also, also using a G size hook, G6, which is 4.25 millimeters. So make sure you have that handy. We'll be using that for the whole project as well as a scissors and a yarn needle. And if you have stitch markers, if you need them, I'm just using extra small scraps of yarn um, that I can just mark my stitches with those. But if you have like real legit stitch markers, use those in this project. Uh, but like I said, the scissors and yarn needle will just be handy in this project to sew in your ends and cut your yarn so make sure you have those handy the bib I made measures across eight inches approximately a little bit more than eight inches and this part measures about seven inches but with the straps it measures about 16 inches and in centimeters I can measure that for you across is about 21 centimeters down is about 18 centimeters and with the strap about 39 centimeters so if you need to you can use a smaller or larger size hook to make it bigger or smaller but i do not have um, measurements on stitch counts to make this smaller or bigger before we start making this, I do want to mention, please check out the links in the description of this video. I will have a link to my blog where you can get all the information I just said. Any questions you may have will be in the blog as well as the written pattern for this bib. Also, there is a link in the description of this video to my Facebook and Instagram. Be sure to share your photos on those uh, social media sites so that I can see your work. And if you post a photo on Instagram, be sure to hashtag Yarnutopia so that I can see your work that way. But make sure you're sharing your photos on the Facebook and check out uh, the Facebook on the uh, posts by others section. You can get inspiration from other crocheters for your next project or color schemes. I'd really like to see if you choose these colors I chose or if you use other colors. I would really like to see that as well. Make sure to uh, follow me on Snapchat as well. I'll put my username in the description of this video. I do want to thank my dad, Fuad Asmat, for taking the time out to make these videos with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of our videos. So make sure you're subscribing to our channel so that you can you can get the update on when we post our next video And if you have a chance if you could go to our YouTube channel on the right hand side There's a blue button that says support click that and support us if you can so that we can keep bringing you great crochet Tutorials, so without further ado I'll just get started and we can learn how to make this bib together to start off, we have to make a slip knot, so put your short end over your long end, then fold this down, and then pull this through. Pull tight, insert your hook, and we can start. To start off, we have to chain 22. So yarn over and pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. Okay, so this is what your chain should look like. Now we are going to single crochet across this chain. We're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and across. So the loop on the hook never counts as anything. So count one and two. And what I usually do, you can see your chain like this. We're going to actually turn it toward us so you can see these uh, ridges on the back of the work here. We're gonna work into those ridges. So insert your hook in the second chain from the hook. So one, two, right here insert your hook then yarn over and pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops okay that's a single crochet go into the next chain right here insert your hook yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two loops okay again go into the next chain okay then yarn over pull through and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, just do that all the way across. At the end of row one, you will have 21 single crochets. So then I will meet you up and we'll go on to row two together. Okay, just finishing up this row here, going on to row two, we need to chain up one, so yarn over and pull through. And then we're going to turn our work, so we're going to flip it around just like this. So now we're looking at it like this. We are going to increase on this row. We are going to put two single crochet in the first stitch, so this very first stitch that we just chained up one. We're going to go into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then we're going to go right back into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we just put two single crochets in that first stitch. Now we are going to put a single crochet into the rest of the stitches until we hit the last stitch. On the very last stitch on this row, we are going to put two single crochets in there for another increase. So I'll meet you up at the end of row two and we will put those two single crochets in together and go on to row three. All right, so I'm coming up on the end of this row here. In this very last stitch, we are going to put two single crochet, like I said, so go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and go back into the same stitch, then yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops, just like that. So now, at the end of row two, you'll have 23 single crochet. So now, going on to row three, we're going to chain up one and turn our work just like this, flip it around. And now we are going to repeat what we did for row two. So put two single crochet in the first stitch, one and two. And then just put one single crochet in each stitch across until you hit the very last stitch and put two single crochet in the very last stitch. And then I'll meet you up at that point and we'll go on to row four together. All right, finishing row three here, we're going to just put two single crochet into this last stitch and then go on to row four. And for row four, we're gonna chain up one and repeat what we've been doing. So we're going to, oh, at the end of row three, you should have 25 single crochet. So now going on to row four, we're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch until we hit the last stitch and we're gonna put two single crochet in there. I'll meet you up at that point and see how I put two single crochet in that first stitch. So now I'm gonna put just one single crochet in each stitch across until the very last stitch and I'll meet you up at that point and then we'll go on to row five together. All right, going into this last stitch, we're going to put two single crochet, so one, and two, and now we, uh, we should have 27 single crochets across. So we're gonna go on to row five now, chain up one, turn your work, and for row five, we are going to repeat. So put two single crochet in the first stitch, one and two, 
And then we're going to single crochet into each stitch all the way across until we hit the very last stitch. Once we get to the last stitch, we're going to put two in there and I'll meet you up at that point and then we'll go on to row six. Okay, finishing up row five, I'm just going to put two single crochet in this last stitch. So now we should have 29 single crochet on row five. And going on to row six now, we are going to chain up one and row six through 15. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. We are just gonna put one single crochet into each stitch. So right in this first one, we're just gonna put one single crochet, just like that. And then hop to the next and put the next single crochet. Okay, so rows 6 through 15, you should have 29 single crochets on each one of those rows. Just put one single crochet into each stitch all the way across, then chain up one and turn your work and single crochet across. When I finish row 15, I'm not going to make you watch me do all, 50, all those rows, um, I'm just going to do that off camera. Once I get finished with row 15, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to row 16 to together. Okay, when you're finishing row 15, um, we are going to change color. If you do not want to change color and just go on with the same color, just uh, do rows 15, or I'm sorry, 16 through 30 in the same color. But we're going to change color at this point. So at the very last stitch, you want to pull up a loop. Okay, so I'll show you actually from the beginning of it. You go in the last stitch, insert your hook, then yarn over, pull through, Hold it, we're going to yarn over with our new color. Okay, so just hook that on the hook and then pull that through to finish off that single crochet. Okay, and now we can go on to using our new color and we're just going to go on to row, row 16. We're just chaining up one, turning our work and single crocheting across just like how we were doing it. Okay, so just single crochet in each stitch across and that is 29 stitches. All the way across and we're going to do the same thing then for rows 16 through 30 okay so I'll meet you up when we are finishing row 30 and then we can go on to making the first strap okay when we finish row 30 we're going to pause here for a second and we, uh, when I showed you earlier how to change color there are two strands of yarn here that I, I cut my old color my black and what we want to do is actually sew in these ends. You can tie these two colors in a knot and then sew them in, but I just want to show you how I sew my ends in uh, so that you can do the same. So I take my yarn needle and I yarn my needle, and then I go into the corresponding color and just go underneath a few of the stitches, okay, like, like five or six of the stitches, and just go underneath, just like this. And so in that end and then if you can pull it through just like that all the way stretch it out and then cut any extra and then stretch it so that it's all hidden and then again do that for the white so just sew in your ends in the corresponding color so yarn your needle go underneath the stitches And then pull that through, stretch it out, and then cut any extra. Okay, and there you have it. So now we can go on to making the straps. So what I suggest is getting stitch markers. Either you can get a legit stitch marker or have uh, a different colored piece of yarn. And what we want to do is mark the sixth stitch on each end. So one, two, three four, five, six, right in here. Just insert your hook and pull that different color through or just put your stitch marker there. And then count on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, right in here. Insert your hook and pull this through. Okay, and those are our mark stitches. Those are where our straps are going to be from the end into the sixth stitch. 
So now, since we're already connected to this side, we're just going to chain up one and then turn our work. So now we're looking at it like this. And we're just going to single crochet until we hit the sixth stitch here. So go in to this first stitch, go one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, at this point, if you wanted to, you can remove your stitch marker because now we're there. Now we're going to chain up one and turn our work. So now we're looking at this side and we're just going to single crochet across for six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then chain one and turn and we're just going to continue this for however long you want it to be or um, until we hit row, let's see here, row 30. So I'm going to do, so I just finished row two, I'm on row three. I'm going to do 30 rows in total and then I'll meet you up and uh, we will fasten off together and go on to the next step. All right, when you finish row 30, just chain one and cut the yarn and then pull that through and pull tight. Okay, you don't have to do all 30 rows if you wanted to. You can end, um, you know, row 25 or wherever. But this is long enough for me for the bib that I want to make. So now we want to go back down to row 30 of the bib here where our stitch marker is. And you want to start at, um, actually we want to start on this side. Here, let me see here. Nope, just kidding. We're going to start on this side, so you want this to be on the right side, okay, because we started on this one this way, working back this way. So we want to start on the outer edge of this side, okay, and pick up your color. Okay, just hook that on your hook and pull that through, just like that. And then chain up one and put a single crochet into that same stitch. So just go right back into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, that's a single crochet. Now we're going to single crochet until our stitch marker, so in the next five stitches. So insert your hook, we're gonna crochet over our straggler as well. So I'm gonna lay that down, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, next stitch, go in, around the stitch marker there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, next stitch. This is number four. This is the fifth one. And then in the sixth one is where our stitch marker is. We're going to go right into that stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, you can remove your stitch marker, you can cut your straggler, And then we can chain up one and we can turn our work and just single crochet across just like that. Okay, and then we want to um, make 20 rows of this side and then we are going to make our buttonhole rows. So I have three buttonhole rows. You can do um, two or just one buttonhole row, but I'll show you how to do it uh, once I finish row 20. I'll meet you up and we'll go on to making our buttonhole rows together. Okay, finishing row 20 here, we're just going to, we just single crocheted across. So this is what your strap should look like so far. So now, uh, going on to row 21, we are going to start making our buttonholes. Uh, if you want to make just uh, the last buttonhole, just a single crochet, make sure you're repeating this rows until you hit row 27 and then make your one buttonhole. But I'm going to make my buttonholes, I'm making three of them, three rows of buttonholes. So I'm going to chain up one, turn my work, and then for row 21 we're going to single crochet in the first two stitches, so one and two. Then we're going to chain two one, two, skip these two middle stitches here, and then single crochet in the last two stitches. So one 
and two. Okay, now we've just created our buttonhole there. So then chain up one, turn your work, and now going on to row 22 and 23, we're going to single crochet across. So we'll go in this first stitch, single crochet, second stitch, single crochet. Now you can decide, you can put two single crochet in the chain two space, or you can work your stitches into the chains like this. So go into the chain itself and make your stitch, which I am going to do that. So then insert your hook in the next chain and then make your single crochet just like that. Then single crochet in the next two stitches just like that. Okay, chain up one, turn your work. Going on to row 23, we are just going to put a regular single crochet into each stitch across. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, then chain up one, and now we're going to repeat row 21. So we're going to make our buttonhole row. So two, a single crochet in the first two stitches. So one and two. Then chain two, one, two. Skip these next two stitches and go into the last two stitches for a single crochet into each one of those. Okay, just like that. Then chain up one, turn your work, and then single crochet across for six single crochets. So one and two in these first two single crochets. Then a single crochet into each one of the chains, or you can just sing put two single crochets in the chain two space, totally up to you. One and two. Okay, and then single crochet in the last two stitches. One and two. Then chain up one, turn your work. Okay, row 26 already. We're gonna just put a single crochet into each stitch across. Just like that, and then chain up one turn your work, and now we're on row 27. Now if you were just doing one buttonhole row, you would do row 27 as your buttonhole row. So put a single crochet in these first two stitches, chain two, skip the next two stitches, go into the next stitch for a single crochet, and a last stitch for a single crochet. Then chain up one, turn your work, and then for row 28, we're repeating row 22, so put a single crochet, into each stitch across, and one single crochet into each of the chains. This part is a little difficult. That's why I said you could put a single, two single crochets in the chain two space, but I'm working in the chain, so that is creator's choice. And then a single crochet in these last two stitches. Okay, now for the rest of the stitch, or the rest of the rows, Let's see here, row 29 and 30. We're just gonna put one single crochet in each stitch across. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then chain one, turn it, and our last row. One, two, three, four, five and six. So now I'm going to fasten off with my white. If you want to uh, make your whole or make your um, outer outline in the white, just chain up one and single crochet around the entire thing. But I want my outer lines or my outer edge to be black. So I'm going to fasten off this white here. So I just chained up one, cut my yarn and pull that through, pull tight. I'm going to grab my black yarn here and I'm just gonna go right into any stitch on this row here, just right in this one, I guess. And hook that on my hook and pull that through. And we're just going to do a single crochet. So chain up one, single crochet in the same stitch you attach to. Okay, and then just single crochet around. So just put a single crochet into each one of these stitches. Okay, now when you get to this corner here, we want to, we put, a, we put two single crochets in there. So put one there and then going down the side, we're going to put another one in there. Okay, now down the side of our work, 
we're going to put a single crochet into every row. Basically, wherever your hook fits is where you're going to put a single crochet down the side, okay? Just like this on the edge. You can see I'm crocheting over these stragglers as well. So you can do the same thing and just do it like that. Very simple single crochet just to clean the edge up a little bit. Okay, so just work this all the way around. In the corners, we want to put two single crochet. Okay, just like we did up here, like that. Okay, so do that in each of the corners, but single crochet on this whole piece all the way around, and then I'll meet you up when we fasten off, and we will go on to the next step together. All right, I'm just finishing up here, single crocheting around this entire piece. I'm putting two single crochets in the corner and then one single crochet in each stitch. Once I come back to the beginning, I'm going to slip stitch to the beginning, single crochet. So just insert your hook, if you can, there you go. Then yarn over and pull through and pull through. Pull tight. And then to fasten off, we just chain one, cut the yarn. My scissors are getting dull. Then chain up there or pull that through and then we're going to um, take our yarn needle and sew in our ends right away. I suggest sewing in your ends as you go or at the very end of this project. This is a very quick project so um, sew in your ends just underneath the stitches kind of like how I showed you earlier just like that. Okay and then stretch it out and then cut off any extra Okay, there we go. And now we want to sew on a button. You can decide to sew on three buttons if you have all three um, of these uh, buttonholes, but I'm just gonna sew on one button because then it can adjust. I'll put it, you can put it through one, two, or third, third buttonhole. So I'm just gonna put one button on here. So I'm gonna put it right here, just this little tiny um, button here. You can choose any size button you want. Just uh, take some thread or your cotton yarn, yarn a needle, and then go from the back to the front. Just sew this on. Okay, just going back and forth through the holes. And then we're going to flip this over and tie a knot on the back really tight. You can tie it double or triple, which I'm going to do a triple. Okay, then we can take this yarn or needle and sew in this end. Okay, so just sew it underneath the stitches. And then cut that short, stretch it out, and there you have it. So now you can button it on this first one, like that, the second one, like that, or the third one, like that. And then it'll be around the baby's neck, like this. It's be nice and, nice and snug, okay? So that's that. Now we can go on to the next step. I'm going to make a little bow tie. At this point, I mean, you could just end it and have just a plain bib, a dual colored bib, but I'm going to make a little bow tie to go with mine. Uh, if you are making a girl's uh, one, you can make a, a little flower, put it somewhere like in the bottom corner somewhere or up top here, but I'm going to make a little bow and make it go right here for a little bow tie. So I'm going to set this aside, grab my red cotton here and my crochet hook. We're going to make a slip knot. So put your short end over your long end, fold that down and pull that through, pull tight, insert your hook and we can start. So to start off, we want to chain 
Uh, let me see here. I'm going to chain, I think, how big is this here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I think I'm going to chain 10. I think that's a good amount. So yarn over, pull through. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And then we want to chain another one uh, because we are going to be single crocheting. So chain 11 instead. So yarn over, pull through, just like that. So this is what our bow is going to be as long as this. You can make it longer or shorter, depending on the size you want to make it. Uh, but I chained 11. Now I'm going to work similarly how we started out our bib. We're going to single crochet across this chain, but I'm going to work in the back loops only. Okay, so in the second chain from the hook, we are going to put a single crochet. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two. Right in here, just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through two loops. Okay, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next chain, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next chain, okay, so we're just single crocheting across. You should have 10 single crochets then at the end of this row, and we can go on to row two together. Okay, after row one, this is what it should look like. Now you want to, for rows two through six, just chain up one and turn your work and just single crochet across. So very similarly to how we were making our bib and our straps, just single crochet across. And once I finish row six, I will meet you up and we will fasten off together and then make the center of our bow. All right, I just finished row six here, so this is what it should look like. And now to fasten off, we want to just chain one and cut the yarn. Okay, and then pull that through and pull tight. We need to sew in all of our ends, or both of our ends here. So just yarn your needle, and then sew it in underneath the stitches. Stretch it out, cut any extra, and again, this other straggler here. Okay, just go underneath some of the stitches. Pull that through, stretch it out, cut any extra. Okay, so this is what it looks like. If you want to, you could block this piece. Okay, so just lay it flat on something, pin it down and spray it so that it doesn't kind of like lift up like that. It'll just lay flat. That's totally up to you. I'm going to go on to making the center. So we're going to cinch this middle like this. Okay, we're going to actually go on this side and go like this. Okay, and cinch this middle so then it'll look like a bow. And you can you can decide at this point if you want to just wrap the yarn in the middle like I don't know 20 times or so and then tie it off and then sew this like this to your um bib. You can do it like that, but I'm going to crochet a middle and it's going to be super simple. It's just one row. So we're going to uh, make a slip knot just like how we did before. Okay, and then chain six. So yarn over, pull through. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then single crochet across in the second chain uh, from the hook. So the loop on the hook doesn't count, so count one and two right in there. Just insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Next chain, single crochet in there. Okay, so you'll have five single crochets at the end here. And we're going to fasten off then with a long tail. Okay, and I'll show you what to do after that here. Just single crochet across. And then to fasten off, chain up one, cut it with a long tail because we'll use that for sewing and for attaching it to our bib. Okay, so you can stretch this out. 
Okay, and now we're going to take this piece and cinch it like we did in the middle there. Okay, then we're going to wrap this piece around it. Okay, it's going to be a little tight, but that's how you want it. Okay, we're going to yarn our needle with the longer strand. Okay, and then we're going to sew this to each end. So sew this side to this side, okay, around that uh, rectangular piece that we just made. Okay, so just whip stitch it. Okay, cinch it closed. Again, on this one to the side. And one more time, I'm going to just reinforce this. Okay. And you can also sew this to your bow itself, to the actual rectangular piece. Okay. So this is the back, and this is what the front looks like. Okay, make sure that it is centered, and you can stretch out your bow, make it actually look like a bow. So there you go. So now we want to sew this to our bib. So grab your bib, choose which side you want to be the front. If you like this side or this side, I guess our button is on this side, so this is the front. And then... We're going to put this right here in the center. Okay, so what we're going to do is just go through the bib to the back. Okay, and I'm going to also take the straggler and pull it to the back as well. And then we just want to go back and forth through the bow and through the bib. And you just want to do one line. You don't have to sew the whole thing or around the edges or anything. Just one line across this way and then one line across the other way. Okay, it'll be secure and comfortable okay one more stitch here There we go. Then go all the way back to the back of the bib. Okay. Come back to the straggler at the beginning here. And then tie those two pieces in a knot. Okay. And then cut off, make them that so that they're the same size. And then Yarn your needle with that, and sew in those straggler ends. Okay, so just sew them in behind here, behind our bow, but into the bib. Okay, and then just cut off any extra. Stretch it out, 
nobody will see that because that's on the inside of the bib and there you have it our bib is complete that looks so adorable a little handsome man will be wearing this so thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this beautiful bib if you have any questions leave a comment otherwise check out the blog uh, where you'll get all the information you need for this pattern there will be all the information for sizing and um all that good stuff so make sure you check out the blog also check out the Facebook and Instagram if you uh, make one of these I'd love to see the colors you come up with or if you make it exactly the same as me make sure to share it on the Facebook page and if you share it on Instagram be sure to hashtag yarn utopia so that I can see your work and uh, make sure uh, to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Also, like I said in the beginning of this video, make sure if you have a chance, go to my YouTube channel and on the right hand side, uh, there's a blue button that says support. Uh, if you could support us in any way possible, that would be greatly appreciated so that we can keep bringing you great crochet video tutorials. So thanks for watching everyone. Have a great day. Happy hooking!